Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Colonial Downs here on Wednesday. It is the 4th of September, 2024. I'm going to look at the ninth race from Colonial, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit 5 for more selections for race courses around the world, and I mean it around the world. Remember to join me this weekend for my Yonkers International Trot Preview, also for my Virginia Derby from Colonial in Kentucky Turf Cup from Kentucky Downs, with, even with no Naira racing this weekend. It's still a good weekend, but we have Naira next week with the return of Aqueduct. But let's look at the ninth race from Colonial, which is a good one. And I hope the, this is like the second year in a row that they're running a, a Makeup Wednesday card closing week at Colonial. I hope they just next year just card this Wednesday card because it's an absolutely great Wednesday card uh, coming out of the holiday weekend. And, uh, you know, too bad I work, but uh, I would really destroy this card. It's really fun to look at. But um, <laughs> let's look at the ninth race, Colonial, which is a starter optional claim or purse $40,000. Race Phillies and Mayors, three year olds and upwards, never start for a claim price 16000 or less or claiming price of $25,000. We have a field here of 10 horses going 1,700 meters or a mile 16th on the uh, the outer turf course here. My top selection, I'm going to go with the 9 horse, Katie's a Lady, 9, 2, 4, 10 for me in the Super Facto. 9, 2, 4, 10 Super. Top selection, 9 horse, Katie's a Lady. This 5-year-old uh, uh, mare by Tourist here. Uh, Monica Magoya trains this one. Horacio Caramanos, the all-time leading rider, Colonial gets the mounts. The horse's most recent outing came uh, in a uh, claiming 25 here Colonial, 1 mile 16 of August, and it was a near success. He finished second by one and a half lengths. So he sat on the front end. He had the lead. He got caught by Ghostly Gal late, but he ran his heart out. Refreshing here. It's a little bit of a tougher race here today, but I think from a wide poster, they're going to see how far his speed goes, and I think he could, you know, hold up well. He ran on a very yielding turf course, which wasn't to his liking. Two back uh, here at Colonial. Mile 16th on the outer, 25th of July and optional 50. Also against tougher competition. He finished fourth by four and a quarter lengths that day. He was flying on the front end on the wet conditions, and then he just kind of yielded late. He wants to run on the fast course. And then back at Mom at the mile 16th and optional 40, he finished second by length. And he had a bit of a wide trip that day, but he dueled all the way around. He just missed late, but he ran his heart out. And then another soft turf at, Colonia, at Delaware, mile 16th on soft ground and optional 32. Tough horses. He finished third by two lengths. He never really got going. On those lightning fast courses at Tampa over this past winter, he wasn't running bad at all. He actually um, you know, uh, didn't win. Uh, he won once, actually, on 24th of April, going mile 16th and optional 16, where he won by three lengths on the front end, but he wasn't winning those other races, but he was always running these bang-up places. If he does that today, got, you know, if he runs a good race here today, um, you know, on the front end, he's going to go all the way and win it, I think. If he doesn't win it on the front end and he gets caught, I think the two-horse Amazon Queen could catch him for Ben Curtis, who's having an absolutely incredible, um, you know, freshman year here at Stateside, um, you know, getting on this one for Michael Lauer. Um, you know, this horse hasn't won uh, since 2023, where he had an incredible 2023. He won four races of nine offerings, but hasn't won since the 15th of October last year. That came at Laurel. Since then, he's been just running against some tough horses in the Midwest. He's back down the class ladder here today. You should see a strong pace to close up into. At 12 to 1, I'll give him a shot here on the ticket. But to recap my selection for the Knights from Colonial here in the special Wednesday program, I'm going to take the 9 horse Katie's a lady. Give kudos to the 2 horse Amazon Queen. 9 2 4 10 Super. 9 2 in the multi race. So good luck to all. Please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid 5. Good luck, everybody.